Welcome back everyone to Empyrean Galactic Survival Vanilla 1.10. Uh, today, Haizani has sent us off to go to the GLAD headquarters at uh, Sigma Beta, which is in the Sigma Zero system, and find a traitor. Or at least inform them there's a traitor in our midst. And so. We're going to head on out there. When we get to Sigma Zero, I want to first pay a stop over to Sigma Beta. I mean, Sigma Fulcrum, excuse me. The uh, space station, which I own at the moment. And uh, find the medical trader and get as many bandages and health packs as I can. I've been running short on those. So we'll go to Fulcrum first, and then continue with the storyline. All right, where are you? Point six AU. See, it's green. Green? It means it belongs to me. Oh, it's right there. Don't usually come out of warp so close to something like that. How lucky can I get? Hmm, it looks like the lights are off. Didn't leave them enough fuel. They're obviously out of gas. Which is alright. Don't need to waste any fuel out here. All the uh, traders will still be working. Downside is, of course, we have no gravity. So I got a jetpack all the way through here. Unless, of course, I wanted to put some fuel in here, but why waste the fuel? I'm not a benevolent dictator. <laughs> a willing patient? Let's see, you've got 88 bandages. I shall buy all of them. Your health packs. Buy all of them. Don't need some anything else really at the moment the meds are relatively cheap I could theoretically buy that whole stock out but the whole key of the game is not to get injured in the first place okay now we can get back to the story we'll hit Sigma Beta And uh, tell the commander there that there's a traitor in our midst. I have a feeling that the glad. It isn't going to be so glad. All right. Ah, let's go, guys. Get in there. Interesting part of the storyline. Get a few of them people here infected. Uh, story, story, story. I'm 
moving kind of slow because I still have my heavy armor on. Because I know we're going to be doing some fighting here. One thing I want to do before I do the story is I want to loot everything in here, which I did off camera. Looting is kind of boring. Since all these containers are unlocked and uh, they're all going to blow up once this uh, story is concluded. I get their stuff out of there before I trigger the self-destruct. There weren't a lot of real good goodies, but what can you do? Alright, let's uh Get the story going here. I don't think the door is supposed to be open. It's alright. He's talking in private with someone. The door is locked. Theoretically. Now the door should be open. Mercer was talking with uh, Xeraxian, I believe. Hey, okay, gotta talk to the bartender. So what you got? I gotta go find Ensign Henry upstairs in the crew quarters. And I need that some food here. Right, where is it? There it is. All right, let's go up and find Ensign Henry. I think he's feeling a bit under the weather. He's feeling a bit abominable. Uh -huh. See, I told you. They gotta do something about this uh, story box that pops up. It locks you out from shooting. If I hadn't killed him before the box popped up, uh, he would be munching on me while the box was there. Which is not nice. Go down and talk to Palint. Right. Tells me about the nefarious red containers that have some infected bugs in it. Good place to fly here. Stay up above the bugs. Tricky part's getting them to spawn here. There be two of them. All right, there's the first one. Can't hide there. Can't hide from me. Ooh, a grumple mate. Ooh, your little flappy doodles are twitching. All right, two dead bugs. Now we gotta trigger the invasion. I have to wait three seconds to one. Get the crew out of here. We're under attack. Should be some nasties up here waiting for me. Doggy? Here's your doggy. Yep. 
There's some Gist Xerexians running around here. And these are actual Xerexians. Not the unaffiliated ones, so we are ruining our reputation with the Gist and with the Xerex. Just, okay. Had to happen. Wait. The guy had me did the rights. He was just a little bit confused. Oh, another Dougie. Here, boy. That's what they should give you in your inventory. Some doggy treats. Oop, another one. Oop. Oh, win his brother, too. Alright. Be a commander in here. I see your gun poking through the door. That's right. I have to wait for the store. Or I gotta hack the door. Wait. All right, Mercer. Are you the traitor? All right, let's make sure we have the command card. In our possession. We are almost at the end of the storyline here. What we got to do here is blow this base up. And then we get to go rescue my wife. Of the prison. Urge base. Consider the base purged. See, all that lovely loot would have been blown up if I hadn't pinched it. All traces of possible traitor are also eradicated. Oh, there's a long countdown here. 30 second countdown until the next message. All right. I'll wait. Well... We're waiting. We have found them. The high security prison worked out the plan. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, command card. Yes, I have that. Open the doors of the prison. Go to the Antria solar system and local asteroid field high security prison. Yes. All right. Let's get on with it. Now I gotta find this place. Said so it's at the junction of the Xerax drill system, so it's out in that direction somewhere. A lot of nothing out in that direction. That might be tough to get to. It doesn't look like there's a lot of stars there. We'll have to go in a sort of curved route, I think. Do 
remember the name of the system. Only try it. Only try it. We'll do a search for Oni Traya. Alright, we'll mark it. Now we go back to the star map. We can see which direction we gotta go. It's over there. There's really nothing in between here and there. We have a 30 light year limit on our jump, so we're going to have to find some star. That looks like the closest one in that general direction. All right. This will take a little while. I imagine we're going to have uh, three or four jumps because of uh, the lack of stars between here and there. But as long as we're heading in the right direction. Two thousand years later. All right. I'm on the final jump here. Yeah, it took four four jumps. I just cut them out to make a long story short, or shorter anyway. There is the high security prison. Okay. Now the way I usually do this so I'll leave my CV parked right here where I warped in and take the SV into the prison. Mainly because there's lots of uh, Xerxian laser protection stations floating around. I don't need them taking pot shots at my ship. I think we're all filled up here. Yeah, we're good to go. Now we have to destroy a couple of those cores of a couple of those defense stations. Got a couple right over here. They're very tiny. Grace, he's tiny! It hasn't started shooting at me yet. Usually these have like one gun on them. One turret. And if you can find the right spot, you can uh, shield yourself from the turret the body of the satellite. I don't have to worry about that right now because it's not shooting at me. So I'm just going to shoot at it. Why it's not shooting at me? I don't know. Probably because I have the uh, command card or something like that. We got that one. This guy is still not shooting at us. See the uh, turret up on top there. I already punched a hole through it. I'm just missing the core. Where is it? See if we spray some bullets around there, maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, these 
these long reloads. There we go. Finally. Okay, we get to go into the asteroid field to the prison. And there she is. That uh, prison's got lots of turrets on it, but uh, they're not shooting at me because I have the magic card. Back in the old days, you had to take all those turrets out before you could go in there. Because they all shoot at you. The way to take them out was be to go low on this uh, rock and just sort of snipe them. But we gotta open the door. I get out of my ship to open the door, and I gotta get back in the ship before they start shooting me. There's a big turret there. Not to mention some bad guys. Alright. Now let's, let's get these morons from shooting at me. I'm a shield ship. The pathetic little shots mean nothing to me. You should be running away. I am death incarnate. No, there's some more of you guys around. Hey, I see you. Peekaboo. Thought you were being clever. And you. What is so interesting about that wall? I think these guys are easily distracted. Probably saw a bug or something crawling on the wall. All right, I can turn the thrusters off here. I hear a grumplemite somewhere. Mr. Green Bug Man. Okay, it's killing time. There. Hiding around the corner. There's a grumplemite. Oh, there he is. Stuck in a hole by the door. Glad I brought all those bandages. <sighs> there. there. There's some doggos around, yeah. This is good to creep around here. Hello. Just stand still. Oh, he bit me. And I made him all bloody for it. Luckily, he didn't give me rabies. It'd be nice if I could find another EM pulse rifle. Epic EM pulse rifle. This one's gonna run out. Probably not during this mission, but eventually.
And it is my favorite weapon. And there's usually a sniper around here. I know there's a sentry gun. Wonder where the sniper is usually here. I don't see him. There's a container down here. Oh, yet. We will be looting. There's a lot of alien containers on this. Ooh, nice. It's more Pentaxin. Although I just remembered uh, I bought up about 1,500 of it. In the station. So I've got enough Pentaxin to last quite a while. We'll be using a lot of it in our search for an ocean planet to make our home. Once the story's complete. Alright, there should be some white robots down here. Oh man. Those guys really do a number on you. It's bad when you got two of them, because you have no choice but to take the hits from the second one while you're shooting the first one. And they don't feel pain. Like the Zaraxians. If they don't feel pain, they don't stop shooting while you're shooting them. The Zaraxians will stop shooting you while you're shooting them because they're too busy dancing in agony. Yeah, I've done this uh, prison many times. I pretty much know where everything is located. How many bad guys they are and where they're going to pop up. There are uh, four sentry guns in here I got to worry about. One right up to the head there of that landing. That one first. Also one right above my head at the entrance here. Don't have to worry too much about that one at the moment. You can't shoot straight down. There's the other two on the wall on the far end there. Whoop. I knew this was going to happen. I knew that guy'd creep right up on me while I had the blaster in my hand. My first reaction would be to launch the blaster, and I'm so close to him I'd load myself up. They're devious like that. Also too close to that one to use a blaster. All right, there should be one more sentry gun. More doggos running around. Hello there. Hi, doggy. Alright, last sentry gun. I love the blaster for getting those sentry guns. You hit them dead on, they never miss. One shot. Boom. Alright. My wife is in the last cell there. Alex! Daddy's home! She's into leather, you know. The way she wears that cat suit of hers. Okay, we gotta go talk to. Darken, the technologically advanced Talon. Yeah, that was my wife.
All right. Now we just go to go the control. Kill some more Xerax. Throw some more switches. Yeah, you see what's interesting is the, the text on these Xerax, they're uh, it's white. And you notice we're not getting uh, minus XP points when we kill them. So these are once again, unaffiliated Xerax, even though they're supposed to be kists. I think it's very nice of the uh, designers to uh, allow you to take these guys out. Without <gasps> absolutely tanking your reputation. Makes it still plausible to get back within their good graces eventually. If that's what you want to do. Good to have the options. Then, it's not going to use a blaster there. This doorway in my way. Upward, ever upward. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> he's, he's a bit twitchy. Should be a commander right around the corner here. to release prisoners yes we're locked out blah 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 we gotta go <gasps> find another switch somewhere else just an excuse to kill more xerax right i want haiza need to come around here bring her ship to evacuate all the prisoners once the cells are open. Uh, yeah, I should loot this stuff. I don't have to come back up here. On my way out. So I won't be coming back. Let's loot all this stuff. Again, staring at the walls. I get the feeling all these directions are depressed. Just stare at the wall, banging their head into the wall. They all want to go home. Killed the twins. I feel shame. There's a couple 
Put shotgun Xeraxes in there. Where's your brother? I know he's in there somewhere. There he is. place has a lot of air vents you can go through if you want to bypass all the killing, but where's the fun in that? All right, where are you? Make up my mind what to blow that up with. So it's a dead end at the top of the tower, so I am going to loot this as I go. platinum bars. chamber and here the sentry guns came out of the wall behind me take them out carefully we go all the way out there we go I swear I'm not gonna blow myself up anymore I think I've learned my lesson well you say that This is top floor, the final space. Yep. Bunch of Xeraxians running around. See the core up there. I do believe it's not destructible. Places so integral to the story. Definitely wouldn't want to destroy the core early on and not rescue your wife. All right, the old ditch, Jim. Throw the switch. I'm going to throw it again because I threw it so quickly, didn't register. Alright, get to leave the system. Uh, there's a swarm of krill coming to attack this position. You should leave now. Yeah, I see little red dots there. Bunch of krill drones. And I haven't even discovered the krill yet. Oh, 
we gotta head on down here and get the final goodies. You don't wanna miss these. They're hidden in the air shafts. Lots of good stuff. Very rare, some more pentaxid. More pentaxid than very rare. We're going to be needing it in our search for a ocean planet home. We're going to probably have to check out 10 star systems before we find one. They're fairly rare. And I think I want to find one in Xerax space. They usually have a lot of good POIs, Xerox POIs on them. Ooh, another heavy armor. Very nice. Okay. This place has been looted. Just head on back to my ship. That. Now, with all those Creel guys out there, I gotta just get out of here quickly. Don't want to, um, don't want to make more enemies than I need to, you know? I mean, life's hard enough out here in space. I am going to try to just ignore those Krill drones. I don't know if they're going to open a fire on me or not. My ship will probably open fire on them, but that's something also I don't want to do. Now before I go out there, I need to mark where my ship is in bright yellow, so I can turn right towards it and just haul ass in that direction. Okay, here we go. Yeah, my uh, roof gun has taken a few shots. I haven't taken any shots from them. I'm hoping they're going to ignore me. Get out to my ship. Truckster flies at top speed out here in space, so it's pretty quick. Let's see, the krill are... 11 point... Yeah, they're still way out there. And they're actually going farther away, coming a little closer, so they're just... They're just minding their own business. They're not coming after me. All right, got to leave the system. Find some place outside of the system. System. Let's get out of Xerox territory for the time being. Yeah, that place is good. Some place where we could just relax and think about our next move. All right, you have played all currently available story missions to be continued. All right. Well, I think and there's no place here in this system, it looks like. As I said, I'm kind of picky. I'd love an ocean planet, especially in this uh, new version here. They did a lot of work on the uh, tropical ocean planets. They look really nice. But I think that's it for today. 
As always, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again tomorrow.